Hi, it's Leslie, and it's The Last Resort, and this week was really a shake-up of all the couples. Bottom line, this is just a big bucket of dysfunction, and um, let's just start off with this craziness. That, I don't deserve what you just said. Bitch, you run your f***ing mouth, and I'm not in. I'm, I'm not, not in. running my mouth. I'm not in. I when did I f***ing over f***ing talk to you? I when did I over f***ing talk to you? I sat there and let you talk. I sat there and took up you. When did I f over f talk you? Okay, now cry now. Stop. Oh my God. She, she's like a nut, you know, and Liz gets the award for the most self-control because that was craziness. Like it was so bad. Like the producer camera guys had to jump in. But it's, to me, if no one has ever been that much in my face, I would have thought like that could have went to blows. Like if, like how does someone, she was crazy, crazy, crazy. And I have to ask, what were they thinking bringing alcohol into this situation? Alcohol, like that is the root of a lot of these problems that we're going to see just in this episode alone. But let's press on. But before we get to that, if you're interested in following all this nonsense, because you know I followed every week, I'm so into it, please subscribe. But anyway, let's continue. But the saddest thing about that whole display is Ed just sat there. Like, I don't know if he just didn't want to do anything because she's a woman, even though he's like a foot shorter than her. But to me, he needed to break them up. That was so uncomfortable. And Ed just sat there. And then Ed gave his glorious reflection about what he thought just happened. But you got what you deserved. That's what you got. You deserve that. Ask Jillian. I'm serious. She love? Is that love? If I was on the receiving end of that kind of love, I would be so far gone because that is not love. The next two weeks will determine the rest of my life. Like, Liz and I need to be broken down, like broken down to our foundation, and then we need to be built up. And really, I mean, they think they can break in two weeks. You're going to do this in two weeks, break it all down and build in two weeks. Oh, please. The best therapist in the world couldn't do that. That is a tall order. Never going to happen. Anyway, true to form, Liz goes off. She kind of held her own. It seemed like she had a lot more strength this time. She went off and then kind of quietly started crying and called her mom, which is what every girl would do. Her mom kind of talked her back off the ledge and gave her a little fight, went back in there and kind of shut it up and said, no, you're going to listen to me talk. Finally, um, and he's gonna, she made him promise he's going to take it seriously. I'll believe that when I see it. And it was like, she's saying, you know, he's running out of chances. You know, this is our last, getting down to one of your last chances. I'm thinking, what, does he have only like 862 more? She's given him more chances, Liz. Oh, hey, they're, they're so not a match. Toxic. Now on to Jovi and Yara. I mean, Jovi, I guess, is extremely upset that Yara confessed that she's been on birth control to the whole group and didn't tell him privately first instead of just kind of blindsiding him out there. I have to agree. This is nuts. This is nuts. But, you know, this is television. He had to know when he's coming on this show. I mean, this is the crap they do. I mean, so, you know, buyer beware, Jovi. You should have known better. But anyway, uh, Yara does not get that he's really upset. Anyway. Yara makes a nice dinner for him and tries to like smooth it all over and make nice, but Jovi's not having it because he's still upset. And I don't think he's really expressed to her how upset he is because she doesn't really get it. She just thinks, whatever. Anyway, they have a crummy dinner. He's still upset. He goes off, doesn't go back, and he goes off drinking. And I guess that was the trigger that Yara is getting very sick of, is that everything, is that every time something goes wrong, Yara returns to the old booze. So I guess this just uncovered another one of their issues and that's Jovi's drinking. She kind of blurted out that he needs to go to rehab or they need to get divorced. And you know, the couple that I thought was kind of doing okay. No, they're a mess too. They're a mess too. You see a common theme here? Alcohol, alcohol. They should not have had alcohol in this little resort therapy session. I mean, I don't know what they were thinking, but of course alcohol makes good television. So we, we get it anyway. But now be a good time to subscribe if you're thinking of helping my little channel. Cause you know, I follow this nonsense every week. Anyway, let's press on. Now we'll just talk briefly about Kelly and Molly, who uh, this relationship really is in the crapper, but we've seen like a little glimmer of hope. And again, we had the big fight at the hot tub with alcohol involved and they kind of stormed off and they had a moment of bonding, which lasted all about two and a half seconds. Walking with Molly, talking to her, that was the first time we connected in a long time. So I feel a little bit more comfortable. Feels good. And we fight, but I ain't gonna let nobody disrespect you. I don't agree with that. You know I have your back, but you say I don't have your back. I don't you know, know that I do. That and, then for, and for you to I even that say do. that. You think that just because you moved to Georgia, mm -hmm. that means you're all in. 
You moved here to be my partner. Exactly. But you're not. Molly, why are we here? This is a waste. Yep, Molly shut that right down, so there you go. Now on to what I guess would be considered the highlight next to all those lowlights, and this is a highlight I did not think I would be saying. The same kind of rational pair would be Asuelo and Kalani this week. Go figure. Kalani came to a little uh, awareness, self-awareness, that uh, maybe talking to the guy that she slept with isn't a good guy, isn't a good idea in group therapy. Yeah, and she let Asuelo push the button and blocked him. That's good. That was a positive move. And then they had this cute little moment. I feel like there's a hope between us to make things better. Can I give you a hug? Sure. Not this. <laughs> Let's start with a hug. <laughs> Thanks. Wow. Maybe they have hope. I don't even know. My head just spins around each week watching these couples. I, I, you know. But that's it for this week. But, um... I do it every week for all these crazy couples. Don't have much hope for any of them, actually. Like none, zero percent. But it's always fun to watch and, you know, therapy, as uh, Yara would say. Um, but I follow it every week, so please subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye.